A San Diego man can now say without a doubt that he's had the ride of his life. The longtime surfer turned realtor decided on a whim to head up to Northern California to surf the world-renowned and very dangerous Mavericks. CBS News 8's Eric Connard is live at Cardiff State Beach with video of his incredible ride. Eric? Hunter Lysot has been surfing these waves here since he was 10 years old. He had the urge the other night to head north from here to waves that are much larger than these. The Mavericks, waves so high that they've been deadly. Hunter admits he hadn't done enough training for big wave surfing, but says the risk was worth the ride. A typical sunny day in Cardiff. Hunter Lysot grabbed his typical surfboard and does what he typically does, tears up the waves after work. But last week, Lysot was tired of the typical. I've never been like big wave surfing before. I was just all kind of a sporadic thing. A whim that began Thursday night, hours before the opening day for Mavericks in the Bay Area. A former pro surfer years ago, Hunter felt he had to chase his dream, so he grabbed his big wave gun. We left at like 10.30 p.m. that night. Drove through the night. Um, we got maybe two hours of sleep max. Mavericks produces killer waves. Literally, surfers have died here because of the extreme conditions. After two and a half hours of hunting, Hunter found himself in the perfect spot. I just put my head down. I paddled as hard as I could. I'm like, this is it. This is like the one right here. And boy, was it the one. A 20-footer that Hunter kept on riding. It had to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. It was, I was so stoked. Like, when I stood up and I knew I was... I was just like, oh my gosh, like, and I knew it was like my first and last wave, so I was just like trying to ride it to the shore. Hunter says it was his faith that pushed him to be bold and courageous. People don't achieve greatness by being fearful. Hunter says he was inspired by other surfers and mentors in his walking on water surf ministry. He's a realtor by trade, and so he had to rearrange a few showings this past weekend to be able to make that trip. Carlo and Barbara Lee, he says it was definitely worth it to ride that 20-foot monster.